Hey guys, it's Armwrecker, and I am playing Hearthstone once again, and we are continuing our Hunter King Crush deck. Or we're currently 5-1. If you missed the previous episodes that led up to this point, including the really, really awesome game from the last episode, I'll link to it in the description, so check there if you want to watch it. Uh, otherwise, we're going to continue right where we left off, and uh, let's get going. Let's see if we can turn this into a 9-1 deck. Uh, we will see. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm really excited. This, this uh, run is going great so far. And uh, this might be it. This very well could be it. Alright, we are going against a druid. Oh, we got our animal companion. We got a tiger and a fen creeper and a mogushan. Hmm. I think I'm going to roll with this. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we got our coin. He's got turn one. Nothing to play. We got Chillwind Yeti. No point in us coining at this point. Okay, so he's he's not playing anything either. Oh man, actually we could do questing. Um Let's let's try to get a questing out. We might be able to pull a kill card out. We might be able to get a a, I think it's called Bite, that gives him two attack, two armor. There, there's a lot of things he might do to try to counter this. He wasted card draw. I'm fine with that. Okay, and that leaves us with our animal companion. 2-4, alright, that is a buff. This thing's gonna give plus one attack to anything else I play. Alright, Chillwind Yeti. Well, we know that he's going to want to kill now, that 2-4. Uh, we could actually buff it, but it wouldn't be able to get the kill. Let's get out the taunt. And let's start doing some hero damage. This is going to prolong him from killing me. Now, is he going to waste a silence just to get at it? Yep, he wants that thing dead. Okay, that's fine with me. That's fine. Okay, so from here... Let's see... Do I want to get out the beast? I think I want to do the, the Fen Creeper. Let's attack him once. That way... No matter what, if he attacks the Fen Creeper, he's gonna lose one of those creatures. Okay, five damage. Trades the weakest, and he goes for hero. Okay, so now we could deadly shot if we want, and take care of that problem. I think I'm gonna deadly shot. Let's get rid of that. Let's get another creature for ourselves. So now we've got creatures, we've got card draw if we want it, from the 1-3. And that prevents him from giving uh, anything a buff. Okay, 3-5 is out. He's got a jungle panther. Hmm. This is tough. I think... First we're gonna deadly shot. All right, she's gone. In that case, we're playing Chillwind Yeti. All right. We still got the card draw on the table. He's got a 4-2 that can't kill the Yeti. But it could take out my card draw, leave me with just one. Now, the scary thing about Druids... Oh, man. There's another Starfire. Well, Yeti is gone. Fairy Dragon's out. Okay, so we could do Scavenging Hyena. Uh, followed by the Stranglehorn Tiger. Let's get our card draw. 
Ooh, animal companion too. Actually, I think we're gonna be better off going with tiger, animal companion. Got another buff. Ah, shit. Well, let's force him to at least use up his hero power to take out the 2-4. He's not going to want to leave that on the board. He made that obvious when he killed it last time. Pass me that arc light banner. Okay, he's actually going for card draw. That's interesting. Don't mess with and a Razor Fen. Now he's going to go kill that 2-4, isn't he? No. What? Why would he do that? Actually, I think I'm going to buff up the 3-5. Okay. This is our shot to do some board clearing here. Or we could do a lot of damage. I think I'd rather split up the damage. Question is, how do we want to do that? Okay, I think we want to take out... Let's see. Take out the 2-4. Take out the 3-2. Take out the 2-3. We've got board control. We've... Even if he's got the Starfall, he's only going to be able to deal 2 damage. Hmm. We've got a Spellbreaker ready if he pulls out a Taunt. I must safeguard oh, he's going for Silence. Get in there and fight, maggot. 2 attack, he's going to take out the Tiger. That's fine. He's been pretty lucky with these Silences. Alright, now the 2-1 is gone. All right, we got Explosive Trap if we want it. We got, uh, Silence. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't think we want to use our Silence yet. We're gonna hold on to that. Start applying pressure via hero damage. He can't easily kill anything but the 2-2 two -two and the 4-3 right now. Unless he wants to go and dump two onto the Rhino. He's a little bit scared though, it seems. He He's probably wondering if I've got snakes. If I have snakes... They could put him in a really tight spot. The gates are open. Oh, there's a taunt. Another taunt. Okay, two damage to all. Nice. All right. Oh, and we got our Savannah. So beautiful. Okay, so, how are we going to do this? I can see. Oh! That's it! I think he knew he was in trouble, because uh, I was going to go and attack his 4-3 and then take out the 2-2. Two -two. We had, would have had board control. So, holy crap, we are now 6-1 <laughs> with this deck. Uh, let's keep on going. This is a great run. Absolutely great run. Golden cards can be disenchanted for a lot of dust. That's that's true. It's a fair amount of dust. I, I don't know if I'd say a lot. A lot to me would be like 500, but... Uh, you're not going to see that unless you got like a legendary golden. Or maybe an epic golden. 
Okay, we... Let's see, against a warrior. Ah, crap, these Houndmasters again. I'm gonna get rid of the... Actually, we might want the Savannah. This actually might work. It's risky to hold on to a high tier card, but warriors tend to pull a lot of bullshit with their weapons. I've seen this guy a lot. He's certainly not new to uh, to this game here. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse Oh shit. Well, good thing is we get a beast companion for free. Okay. Well. He's just gonna go and kill that 2-4, unfortunately. I was hoping for a 4-4 or a charge. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play that Millhouse guy. In arena. Ever. Okay, so next, uh, damn. We play the buzzard, and it's gonna kinda go to waste. He'll just kill it the next turn, but it could be bait. I could use it as bait. Alternatively, I could use up one of my hound masters next and try to save the buzzard. And just lose that, that taunt. Given that he's got so much strength on the field right now, and I do want card draw. Mm -hmm. No, because then, then we lose the coin. We could use the coin to get an early Savannah high main. Let's see if we can bait him out. Hey, give me that. Take out... Um, Actually, let's take out the 3-2. Okay, perfect. We got multi-shot. That's exactly what we needed. I made a mistake. Uh, I should have... Oh, shit. I should have uh, used my loot hoarder first. That would have been a much, much better uh, thing to do there. Ah. <sighs> Crap, and let's see. You know, mistakes in this game can screw you really bad. Um, let's see if we luck out with our beast. A 2-4 again! God damn it! I mean, I like that creature a lot, but I don't like it in this situation. He's gonna keep the, the mill house alive. Alright, so that's the good news. We need to use our split shot. Unfortunately, this guy is going to die no matter what I do. Three isn't enough to kill. Split. Taken care of. Problem solved. I've got more cards than he's got. Let's see what what's coming up next. Um, and hopefully, uh, yeah, we got our King Crush. We got Houndmasters. We could start using the Houndmasters with the Hyena. Okay, so he's got a beast of his own. A little bit scary. Just a little bit. I wonder if this would work. Would this work right now with the stealth? Yep, it works. Okay. Uh, so in that case... Uh, do we want a creature on the board? It could be really nice to have a creature on the board, but we're gonna wait, actually. We're gonna wait. We're, we're gonna be a little bit conservative here with our turns. We want to get out that Savannah. We want to try to bait him into attacking the Savannah. Oh shit, that's not it. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, perfect time to silence. Your magic shall not see. Okay.
We're gonna get out one of our Hound Masters. We need creatures on the board right now. That's very, very important. Two turns away from getting Crush out. He's going for Hero. Okay. What's he gonna do with that 8-8? That's the question. Does he have a Gore Howl or something? What does he have? There, there's some reason that he decided to not try to get board control. What I see. Okay. Oh, that is why, right there. Okay, this sucks, but uh, we gotta do it. Okay. And unfortunately, uh, we have to take out, we gotta get our taunt up. Got to take out that 4-1. And we're going to get our Acolyte of Pain out. That's going to give us a little bit of a card draw. We're in, uh, we're, you know, kind of in a bad position. We do have King Crush, though, next turn if we want him. He can charge right out and kick some ass if he plays something big. And then the other nice thing is we're both uh, with limited card options here. All right, Fiery War Axe. He could have an Execute. Okay, so he traded his Yeti. He's gonna kill that, and what's he gonna do? Go for Hero again? Yep. Oh. If I don't get a really good taunt, I'm dead next turn. This taunt is not gonna hold up because it's a stealth. So we have to pray, Bring the pain. completely pray, for a good card here. Oh my god, why? <laughs> oh. I'm one turn short. Holy shit. One turn short of uh, being able to taunt up Savannah. God damn. Yep, with that weapon and, and, and everything, we're screwed. Unfortunately, this, yeah. God damn it. I really wish they would change it. I wish that taunt would make a unit visible, because he's just going to go and just, yeah, I'm dead. That's GG. Alright, so can't win them all. So unfortunately we are now 6-2. We're gonna go for one more in this video. This is either gonna be a uh, epic cliffhanger, or it's gonna be the end of this run. So let's see how it goes. And I'm sitting here now racking my brain wondering if I should have maybe gotten that high main out early. The problem is he kept going for hero damage and um, yeah, I really don't know what I could have done. I need to taunt. Uh, I really need to taunt. Alright, Priest game. We got Deadly, Multi, and Scavenging Hyena. Um... Well, this isn't gonna give us creatures, but it'll give us removal. Well, let's just try to roll with it. I'd rather have this stuff than have late game cards. Okay, we got animal. Okay, that's good. That's good. He's coining. Yep. There goes his coin. First creature out. Loot hoarder. Well, if I play the scavenging hyena, then uh, it's going to die right away. I don't want to lose that yet. We're going to try to play for the mid to late game at this point. 
we play something else, uh, we could try to get ready for a multi-shot. Okay, River Croc. Okay, we got another Animal Companion. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a charge. Uh, I'm gonna go for Hero, try to lay on some pressure. And see what he trades for it, and uh, hopefully he plays another creature, because next turn we could do the split shot. Okay, he's trading the loot hoarder for the card draw. Put this apple on your head. Knife juggler. And he's giving it health, perfect. Well, um... I would rather see him trade something else and get rid of that. So there goes our silence. Hopefully we do not regret that move uh, in the form of a light spawn that gets super buffed. And again he could trade. He could trade his 3-2 for the 4-3. Okay. Alright, so at this point, um, we're going to go for Split Shot. Alright, I'll take that, that's fine. And we, we're getting ready uh, to do some Houndmaster combos here. Squire, attend oh wow. Ready, sir. He's got all the little cards in the world. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a scavenging hyena out. Let's go ahead and give it, uh, some taunt action. See if he wants to trade two for one, or if he's gonna throw a four-four at it. He could also silence. And then next turn we can do another Houndmaster combo. With the beast. Okay, he's gonna make that super buff, so he gets to keep it. And now is he gonna trade two for one? He's still got five mana to work with here. Wow! So unfortunately, I think in this case, we're going to have to switch up our plans here and see if we get lucky with a lucky shot. Yes! Well played. Okay. Thank you. So from here... Let's see... We will buff him up. Uh, the 4-2 he's gonna be able to heal. Shit. We gotta take out the 4-2. We don't want that- we don't want that sitting on the board. Unfortunately, that's kinda the only choice we had there. Otherwise, he would've healed it, he would've kept it alive, he could've had as much as 6 health. Might have been really hard to get rid of later. Okay, he's pulling mind games on me. Mind if I roll need. Oh, loot hoarder. Alarmabot! Uh oh. I- oh, here we go. Engaging TC-130, mental disloading. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Uh, okay. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, I don't want him to get a swap, so we're gonna kill the Alarmobot. Ah. Uh. 
Frustrating. Good news is we have board control. And we've got a really nice combo here with these two cards next turn. Assuming that there's not a better alternative. Now, problem is he's now in mind control territory. Oh, there's... Okay, he just got mind control for the card draw. Or is he... He's going for hero. Really. Okay. All right, so first things first. Let's go ahead and clear that. Ben Creeper. Okay, let's play this. Taunt! Oh boy. Okay, well, we have a reliable taunt, but he could mind control it and beat the hell out of me. So I think what I want to do is um, get out a second taunt, because he can't mind control twice. Although then again, we could bait him with an ogre. He could also silence the taunt. We're low health, we're gonna get out the other taunt. Uh, and we are then, uh, we're gonna actually just start hitting his hero. Put the pressure on him. If we could get King Crush next turn, we win. If he doesn't get a taunt. All right, he's going for the card draw. He just got one. Hopefully it's not what he needed. Oh no! Is he gonna keep going for my hero? He might. Thank God we saved the Houndmaster. We didn't buff that 4-4 when it was an opportunity. Good. Oh, shit. Well, that's not cool. Uh, okay, so... We are gonna buff the beast. And we're gonna say, screw your hero. Gonna get out his stealth. And we're gonna slap him once as well. Let's see if he can manage to uh, go and... Well played. Uh-oh. Well played, he says. Is he saying well played because I'm gonna win? He's going for card draw. Wait, why would he heal himself? He might be faking me out. He might have the win right here. Sometimes people will give you a well played just to troll and they've they've got a winning hand. Let's see. All right, he's going for the card draw. He's he knows he's not going to get mind control now if he gets it cuz he's down to 7 health. Okay, what's he doing? He would need a taunt that's just humongous. Okay, so he killed almost everything on the board. He healed himself a little bit. He's got two left. Oh, that, you know, he almost saved himself. We're gonna give him a well played. We're gonna go for the hero. 
One shot, that's a win! So we are now 7-2 with this deck. And that means we're gonna finish it off in the next episode. That was close, I was, uh, I was getting pretty nervous there. Hey guys, I actually ended this video uh, and I decided to make an edit after the fact, merging the next video and this one uh, just because of the length of what would have been the third episode for this deck. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and shift right over to that. But uh, let's get rolling here. We're, we're uh, gonna try to go for 9-2. That's our goal here. And hopefully this doesn't end in a disaster here. Not gonna jinx myself, but uh, it seems like there is some sort of matchmaking system where the, the more you play, the more difficult the games get. So you're playing against people who have also really high power decks. Okay, uh, we are gonna try to roll with this. Let's give this a shot. Even though we got the high main at the end, I'm fine with keeping it. That gives us a really good spread. We got two, three, four, six, plus a uh, coin if we need it. We could get out the high main at turn five. We save it. Oh, explosive trap. Okay, uh, we're gonna wait. We are gonna wait. I'm gonna give this guy greetings just to tell him I'm a nice dude and please don't play anything right now. Okay, he's going for hero damage. That's fine with me. That's completely fine. Ooh, man. Uh, we're, we're getting some good options here. Let's get out our, our beast. We could always coin up uh, next turn to the Houndmaster. We could always just stick with the animal compa uh, companion here. Oh, shit. Eagle Horn Bow, uh, that's not fun. Good thing we didn't play a secret. Alright, please give me a 4 4. Nope. Well, what do you think he's gonna do next turn? <sighs> of course, he's gonna attack it. Yep. Okay. Oh. Um. Hmm. We could always buff this. We could play it. And then buff it with the Houndmaster the next turn. To kill that 3 5. We must cleanse the sun. Oh shit. That's a good move. That's a good move. There's the uh, hero damage that I occasionally fear. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, actually, we could save the buff. This will get that killed. But we could actually do a full trade right now with a multi shot. Yeah, let's actually do it. Okay, board is clear. Completely clear. Uh, I'm not going to coin up yet. Turn six, uh, we could actually do a combo here with Animal, animal uh, Companion and the Houndmaster. Wow, he, he is relentless with this hero damage. Ooh, there's King Crush, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go and check to see what we get. Nice. Wait, no. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna go and make him really strong. This is good. This is really good. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's gone. Timberwolf. Let me guess, hero? No, not hero. Okay. Next. Oh, man. The decisions I make right now could cost me the game or win me the game. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to act like we've got snakes. See if we can get him to test on my hero. 
Otherwise, we're going to lose this Yeti. Oh, he had a flare! Shit! Oh, Andy had Hunter's Mark. Oh boy. This is looking really bad all of a sudden. This is looking really, really bad. He is going to do uh, 8 damage to me, 10. He's going to do 10 damage at least. Oh, and he's got a deadly shot. Well, the good news is he just gave me a couple creatures for it. But he's got a fairy dragon. Okay, luckily he didn't go for my hero. I'm happy about that. But next turn he wins if I don't do something big here. King Crush isn't going to win it. I need this taunt. I need creatures. I absolutely need creatures. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to waste this. Might as well take away that buff. Oh, shit. Okay, he's got card draw. He's got... A, he's really strong right now. If one thing is gonna kill us here... Oh, God. Well, there's seven damage. I lose. That's the end of this deck. That's it. Seven, three. Unfortunately. So, um, actually, I'm probably going to just append this to the uh, previous video because it was just one more match. Let's go ahead and at least see what we get here. Seven three, it should be uh, break even. So we got fifty five dust, uh, one hundred fifty gold, and a pack. And let's see what's in that pack really fast. It's a shame to see the King Crush deck leave. Well, that's just how it is. Alright, so we got one rare. We got Savagery for the Druid. We got Urshock for the Shaman. Worgen Infiltrator for all classes. Inner Rage uh, for Warrior and Deadly Shot for the Hunter. And that's the end of that. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, one of these days, I will manage to record my 9-whatever win in, uh, in Arena. And uh, that's it. Let me know what you guys thought of my play, though. Feel free. And, uh, you know, of course, just be civil about it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see all of you next time.